Welcome to Chalk Talk, presented by Option Central, the premier source for all things option football, featuring the play of the day with Coach Tony DeMeo. Sponsored by Coach's Office, a leader in football software since 1997, coachesoffice.com. Now sit back and get your pencil and paper ready as Coach Tony DeMeo presents another play of the day. This is Tony DeMeo, and our play of the day is the slot flip triple. This is a great little play. It's a counter triple option in which the slot and the tailback change assignments. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, we line up in a wide slot formation, which causes the defense to roll to the wide slot. There's the slot in motion and the pitch and a good game. Let's look at it again. Notice the, the slot in motion. He becomes the dive back. The handoff key is blocked which cause, makes it an automatic pull and pitch, and we have a big game. Let's look at it from the end zone. First thing I want you to notice is the smart splits. Big split between the, the uh, guard and center over here to the three technique side. Tight split between the guard and the center to the one technique side. We're going to get a double team here on the one technique. This is the handoff key right here that uh, is going to be blocked by our tackle. That means it's an automatic pull for the quarterback, and he's going to pitch off this outside linebacker. Okay, let's take a look. There's a slot in motion. He becomes a dive back. It's pulled. And the ball is pitched, and we get out on the perimeter. OK, just let's looking at this play. By bringing this uh, receiver over here to the uh, to the field, that causes this linebacker to move out right there. Uh, then, and also it keeps their secondary balance. You see the safety on the hash and so forth. Uh, and this safety over here on the hash. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get a double team right here by the center and the guard on this one technique. We're going to get the handoff key who's right here, is actually inside of the tackle. So he'll block this handoff key down. These two uh, backside blockers will block these two. Okay, This slot here is going to go in motion, and he's actually going to become the dive back. Now with the handoff key blocked, ideally, we would like him to be able to block this Mike Backer. In this particular case, he doesn't get to him. The pitch key is this man right here, who's the outside backer. And he's the guy we're going to pitch off of. We're going to stalk this corner, and, and uh, this tailback is going to become the pitch key right here, uh, the pitch man. And then obviously we're going to get a backside cutoff by this backside receiver. And that's the way the play should look. And uh, if, if we go through it, you'll see that happen. OK, just to review, this is the handoff key here. And, and the handoff key is uh, 
actually inside of that of uh, our right tackle. So the handoff key is going to be blocked, which makes it an automatic pull. This is a stack read situation where the the stack backer is going to be the pitch key. Now, because the handoff key is inside, you know it's an auto, our quarterback knows it's an automatic pull, so it makes it a very easy read. Uh, and uh, out here, we're just going to get a stalk. Ideally, we'd like the uh, dive back to block this Mike backer over here. Now, he's not going to get to him, but it's still too far for the Mike backer to get to. Okay, so let's take a look at this right now. The motion, the pitch, it happens quick. The mic can't get there to make the play, and we get a sizable gain. Now let's look at it from the end zone. Again, just for, uh, to emphasize this, right here is the handoff key. You see his inside shade, and right here is the pitch key who the quarterback is going to make a quick pitch off of because the handoff key is blocked. Okay, let's watch this play now in the end zone. Again, just notice the smart splits and how that enhances the play. And it makes it a longer distance for Mike to have to go to try to get to the perimeter. Okay, let's watch this. We'll see the slot in motion. The handoff key is blocked, and it is a quick pitch by the quarterback, and we're out on the edge for a sizable gain. Let's take a look at the, the uh, drawing of this play. Uh, this is the way it normally goes. The tackle is going to go up to the mic and block the mic, uh, just like he would in, in the regular gun triple. So he's going to come up and block the mic, but he'll have a little better angle because of the misdirection. We're going to get a double team on the one technique back to this Sam backer. Okay, so if the Sam backer plugs, we're going to block him. We're going to turn out on the, uh, the, the backside three technique, and we're going to turn out on the backside defensive end. And again, this is your handoff key, and this is your pitch key. So everything is, it works out exactly like we saw in the drawing. However, the way the team played in the, in the clip is they put the handoff key inside the, the, the uh, tackle. So we actually blocked the handoff key with our offensive tackle, which makes it an automatic pull and a, a pitch off the will. Now ideally we would like this dive back to wrap around and block Mike or get downfield and block, block downfield. He gets caught up in the wash and he never does block Mike. Mike comes over the top, but because he's held up a little bit by that counter motion, he never really gets to the play, and our tailback gets downfield for a sizable gain. You've been watching Chalk Talk, featuring the play of the day with Coach Tony DeMeo. Sponsored by Coach's Office, the leader in football software since 1997. Coach'sOffice.com. Play of the Day Chalk Talks are a production of Option Central, the premier source for all things option football. Ready to improve your option football coaching skills? It's time to join OptionCentral.net right now.